Hey, what's up, guys? I just wanted to do a quick video uh, explaining some uh, airless sprayer tips um, and what the different ones do, stuff like that. So right here, I have two Rack 5 switch tips, which these work with the orange... Um, tip guards or airless spray gun guards and um, so these numbers 515 right here the 5 you multiply that by 2 and that means that it's going to have a 10 inch fan so when you're holding your spray gun 12 inches away from your surface it's going to have a 10 inch fan and the 15 that's like how much paint goes through the little hole and comes out of here it's how much paint it releases now i can't remember exactly the number like it's like in the thousands it's like a percentage um it's a small amount so like 15 would not be 15 gallons obviously it's something like really small um but basically, the bigger the uh, last two numbers, like 15, they have a 517, um, 519, I believe. The last two digits mean that it's going to allow more paint to flow through here, which will... It's good for certain instances, like if you have, um, say you're doing an exterior and it's a, you're spraying a lot of siding. I would go with a 517 over a 515 for something like that. Um, you can use a 515. 515 is the best all around uh, airless spray tip. Um, also, for this number right here, the, f the first digit. So, it's going to be a 10-inch fan, right? Now, they have a 415, which means it would be an 8-inch fan. They have a 315, 314, etc., etc. So, basically, the first digit, you multiply that by 2. And when you're holding the gun 12 inches away from the surface, that's going to be how wide your fan is. So, that's that. And, obviously, the bigger your number is the more overspray you're gonna have so you have to take that into account whenever you're spraying things because you don't want to get overspray on stuff obviously you either need to mask use a shield or they make flat tips which flat tips are better for less overspray but they do clog um, well, these clog also, but with these, you just spin the tip like you would take it. Say it was sitting in your gun. You would just spin it like that, and then it'll unclog it. But with a flat tip, what you have to do is you have to actually take that, the housing off. And there's a little filter. And um, you have to clean the little filter or replace the filter but these right here are about thirty dollars maybe even forty depending on what you get whereas flat tips are like five dollars a piece um and you can get them in big packs instead of just one at a time also they make green tips they're called fflp tips those are great for spraying trim they are the same kind where you just switch them like this um they're FFLP tips, and this black part right here with the numbers on it and everything is green, and I don't think they make them in a 515. They're in lower numbers because it means fine finish, low pressure. Um, it's basically for, like, spraying doors, spraying trim, um, cabinets. Um, a lot of people use, like, HVLP sprayers on cabinets, but you can also use a FFLP tip on an airless sprayer. 
Some people prefer to use the HVLP. I'm not one of those people. I would rather use the FFLP tips. But those require the blue uh, tip guard from Graco. Um, I believe it's called a Rack X tip or guard. But the tips are Rack X FFLPs. Let's say right up here. Um, so yeah, that's just kind of the basics of airless spray tips. Um, this is for Graco. Uh, it's, I mean, it's the same thing for Titan, but I use Graco. Um, so yeah.